I'm going to show you how to make a spinner in Google Slides. And you can make this with numbers or letters, student names, prizes, very anything. So Google Slides itself, um, when you make a spinning thing within Google Slides, it doesn't have a function that allows you to adjust where the spinner stops. So every time you spin it, it will land on the same thing. But this little hack will show you how to make it so it doesn't always end on the same thing. Um, so basically, these are number spinners, and this is in the Lucky Little Toolkit from Lucky Little Learners. And I'll show you how it works. So you just click present, and then you click the spinner to spin it. And it actually is going to pull up this spinner in a new window on your device. So this is the little hack. Okay, but you can see it's the same spinner. All the students do or you do is click to spin it. And then it lands on a different number every time. And it tells you, okay, you got a, a number one. And this confetti and everything, if you're creating your own, you can make those settings how you want it. So what you're gonna do if you're going to create your own, you're going to wheelofnames.com right there. Um, or you can just go from a different spinner. And what you're going to do is you're going to click new if you haven't, if you're in a different one. And you can see here there's they just put in some random names for you. Um, so everything that you want to put on your spinner, you put right here. Okay, so if that's numbers, or maybe you're gonna do like vowel team spellings, we'll do like long A vowel patterns, okay? And then what you can do is you can sort it, you can shuffle it, I always like to shuffle mine, it doesn't really matter because it's spinning and randomizing. If you have certain images you wanna put in here, um, like different shapes maybe, or different images of prizes. You can click add image and you can add images to the little spaces. Um, and then you can customize it right here um, by getting different colors and everything. So if, if you want a ticking sound when they spin or different music or no sound, um, if you wanna allow duplicates on the wheel, I always change the spin time because we don't need to sit here for like 30 seconds, whoops. Um, and then you can change the number of things on the wheel. That one's probably fine just as it is. I don't think you're going to make a spinner with 500 options. Um, and then after the spin, this is when you can say, oh, I want it to be like bells ringing or read it out loud. That one's a really good one for second graders. Um, animate it, launch confetti, nah. If you want to take the winner or the selected thing out, off the spinner after they get it. You can do that one. I don't really like that one because um, it takes it off the spinner for the future, but depending on your purpose. And then you can display a pop-up um, that has a message saying like, you win, good job, or whatever. And it clicks down and then this is where you're gonna change the colors. You can only change the colors for six options. Um, so I usually just do like the same color. Um, but you can do different themes, you know, like Google type colors or holiday. You can do like a Halloween spinner and it will just give you some like Halloween options here. Since I only have three on my spinner right now, it's just giving me three check boxes right there. Um, but I can do more. You can change the background color behind this spinner right there. Um, and then if you want to put like a little picture in the middle of the wheel, you can too, and you can change the size. So there's lots of customizing you can do um, on here. We're just going to click OK and come over here. And then what you can do is try it out, of course. So you can see I shortened the spin time hey, and had it read aloud. Okay. Then what you're going to do when you want to put this on your Google slide is you're going to go up here to the link, the share link, and you're just going to click continue. 
and you just want them to be able to spin the wheel. You don't want the kids to be able to do anything else. So just click continue and then you're going to copy this link. Okay. Then what you're also going to do is right click on the window on the spinner and click save image. And that's going to save your spinner image right here. Um, save image. My computer is very tired. Oh, you can see it downloaded down here. Oh, twice. <laughs> okay. So then once you're in your Google slide, which I'm still in present mode here, and you're on a slide for spinner. We're just going to take this one off. Then what you can do is get that image you saved and drag it right onto the slide and adjust it how you want it to be. It's really fun to drag things when you're screen sharing because it slows everything way down. <laughs> okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to, while this image is selected, you're going to go up here to this link and then right there you're just going to paste that link from where you copied it in Wheel of Names and then click apply. And then when students are spinning the spinner, they can click right there and it will pull up the spinner that you created. Just like that. It's being a little slow. And then they can just click and spin right there. So super fun. You can use this yeah. for centers. You can use it for activities. Kids love spinners. So much fun. So hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.